Hello there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Very appreciated as always. So how was your person feeling the last time they saw you? This could be in person, virtually. And please keep in mind that this is a general reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is yours and feel free to reject anything that doesn't feel right for you. It's likely for someone else. All right, so let's go into it. We have the Ten of Cups, beautiful beautiful card to come out first and we have the page of swords so this person was just feeling every feeling with you they were feeling everything with you here's the hierophant we have the ace of wands it looks like this person was feeling very motivated as well maybe motivated to either um, like have a commitment with you or be more committed to you do more for you. I feel like this person was trying to really learn a lot about you, try to understand you more. And then we have the Three of Cups. So I also see that this person was having a lot of fun with you as well. This could have been the most fun that they had in a very long time. I do see that they were trying to maybe remain somewhat uh, guarded and proper here with the Page of Swords and the Hierophant, this being like the middle card here. Um, it's like they were almost trying to ma maintain some position of authority or something like that. Um, this person was just really thrilled to see you though. So I do get the vibe of fun and intense happiness and enjoyment here, but maybe um, really trying to play it down. All right, let's get a few Oracle cards for what else were they feeling the last time they saw you, number three. Um, we have the Celery Dragon Renewal. Okay, so this person felt, I feel like they've been going through life feeling kind of old and stodgy. And this meeting with you just made them feel young again. Made them feel good and vital. Like they got a reboot to their life. Like you charged them back up again. Okay, I feel like they have a lot more meaning and purpose in their life now too. Um, here's Patiently Waiting. Um, waiting patience faith what you desire will be given at the right time have faith so I'm also getting like this person was just wanting to really just enjoy the time with you they did not want the time to end with you because like, I feel like every minute they were with you it's like the clock was like counting backwards for them it's like they were getting younger and younger like they were just um, it's almost like they were peeling away a lot of their worries um, like a lot of just layers of just negative energy and frustration was just peeling off of them um and wow nice happiness okay so to confirm that this per this feels like kind of a very simple and pure reading actually um it's like seems like there's not a lot of baggage um in this meeting like between you guys at all it was just like pure fun for them they're like i just want more this is awesome so i'm not actually getting a whole lot about what was this meeting like let's describe the circumstances describe the situation so i haven't gotten anything yet let's look at what the cards say what was this uh situation all about okay we have the queen of wands this might have i'm getting like maybe they were there to celebrate you or you arranged something this could have been like a birthday party for you or someone else um this could be you performing something um, this could be a video you posted online and they came and watched it. They were super happy about it. They're congratulating you. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. I almost feel like this could be a situation where maybe you showed up and saved the day for them or just brightened their day. I feel like um, they were feeling like SH is what I'm getting. And then all of a sudden you came in with this bright flame and maybe you sent them something funny you made them laugh when they were just like not feeling like talking to anyone um i'm also seeing that maybe you guys had to be quiet um in this situation like you were having to maybe like um be away from or like maybe there was others that you could disturb or something um and so i'm just seeing that yeah that this person was just like just so happy just so happy to be with you here more happiness ace of cups all right, so yeah, this person feels nothing but good is what I'm seeing here. Let's get uh, a few more Oracle cards to describe the situation. 
I, I do feel kind of like this meeting was just like all about you. Like they were there for you. They weren't there for anything else. Um, oh, beautiful. This doesn't come up very much. I don't know if this one's come up at all yet. Celtic knot, um, unconditional love, legendary divine union, eternal love. Wow. Love of a lifetime. All right. I do feel like a lot of you guys um, might already be like married or like in a commitment with this person. And they're just feeling more and more happy and grateful about that. So this could be you guys just shutting out the rest of the world. Um, this person could also have come to a decision like, hey, number three, th this is the one I want to be with. We have so much fun together. And I feel like that's so important for them to be able to laugh in a relationship. And so they know, I feel like that's how they know they found the one. Oh, beautiful. So we have trine flow here. This is the most harmonious aspect um, in astrology. So um, okay, yeah, I'm just seeing like they just... Things were like really flowing, like just perfectly between you two um, at this meeting here. Okay. And here's gifts. And I think we also had, you know, we have gifts literally on this card as well. All right. So yeah, they might've been bringing you a gift. You might've brought them a gift. Um, or they were just like really just in awe, just surprised, surprised at something about you as well. Um, and here's Ice King. You really help them just break down their icy exterior, melt their icy exterior, because I feel like they just needed, they just needed a break from their life. And I feel like just your presence was such a gift for them. All right. Very interesting so far, you guys. Let's see. Um, so how are they viewing you? How were they viewing you the last time they saw you? I do see uh, for a few of you, maybe they like popped the question or something the last time they saw you. Or maybe they were like, I don't have enough money to buy you a ring or right now. Or this could be like, um, I wanted to buy you a, a better gift, but I couldn't afford it at the moment. So here's all I have. But I want to promise you something better and something more. Here's the high priestess. So, wow. So the high, the high priest here, high priestess. So they were really seeing you as like their spiritual counterpart, um, as someone that they greatly respect. And they also see you as somewhat of a mystery. And then here is still Taurus here. Oh, refinement, taste, culture. So they were also just seeing you, um, Maybe they really liked what you were wearing or some like your jewelry or something. Um, they just saw, saw you as someone who just had really, really good taste. Um, maybe they were really appreciating like your taste in music or books or whatever or food. Um, okay, anything else here? We have perfume on here. So they might have um, really liked just like how you were, how you smelled. Um, anything else? Oh, I think they were noticing just maybe that you've become more refined over time. They see you as becoming like, they've, they they really like just appreciate just how mature you've be, become. They, they've really seen you progress. So I feel like they were just re appreciating all the finer aspects of you that maybe they hadn't noticed before. So there was a lot there that they hadn't, um, they hadn't taken any notice of before. So I'm getting like they were just really trying to take in every detail about you because I feel like their heart was just wide open at this time here because they just felt how amazing it was to be with you. And with this patiently waiting card, I just feel like they they were maybe just like waiting for this moment, for this special moment to really come through for you and to surprise you with something. Okay, so what were their primary thoughts the last time they saw you. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. This person, this person, they are either like, I want to marry number three, I, or I want to, I, I'm so happy I'm spending my life with number three, or I want to be with number three for a very long time. I want number three to be a very permanent part of my life. I want to give them as much as I can, even if I don't have enough right now. Here's strength. They were really noticing that they would just do anything for you. Um, and then, wow, we have the Six of Cups as well. I am getting like 
Um, some of them we're, we're seeing having children with you as well. Maybe you guys have children together already um, and they're just like really proud of you um, just for how strong you are with everything you've managed to accomplish in life as well. This person was really noticing just um, how much pull you have over their emotions and their heart in general. So you really, they noticed that you really got them in touch with, um, with maybe some feelings they haven't felt since childhood. And I see your value for sure. Yeah, they see you as just everything, like the full 10. They see you as a 10 for sure. Because um, they see that not only are you like an accomplished person, you're going to add a lot to their life, um, but you also are just this person who's really uh, special to them, really sweet to them. They really are like, wow, and they see your inner strength. And they're like, that's definitely someone I want in my life. That is a value, very valuable person to have in my life. We have, you are so attractive. So we have this ace of wands here where they definitely were feeling the attraction with you. They know they're very attracted to you. Okay, so is there anything they didn't get to say or mention to you last time they saw you, but they wanted to say? We have um, the Four of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. So I do feel like they're very disappointed over maybe their financial situation. The, they feel like maybe they don't have enough for you. They feel um, there's something they feel some regret about. And here's the Two of Cups. So it's almost like maybe they, they feel like there was missed time. Maybe they feel like, I wish I would have seen this sooner between us. I wish we would have gotten together soon sooner. Um, let's see. Yeah, I feel like they weren't opening up more about like some of the sadness they felt or some of the more so-called negative emotions. Um, it was more all about, I just want to show you how happy I am to be with you. Like, I've just missed, um, maybe they didn't tell you how much they just really miss seeing you. And you came closer than anyone. So, yeah, I feel like they also didn't tell you just how, how much you mean to them. Um, they they weren't expressing that. I feel like maybe you, you felt that from them, but that's just not something they straight up said. I don't feel like they were really holding back a lot. Um Here's we both know that I am not the one. So maybe they were uh, feeling some kind of uh, regret or disappointment and not being able to be more for you because they see you as this 10 and maybe they just see themselves as this four here. And they're like, I'm just not really good enough for you. Um, and I wish I could be better for you. This is whether you guys are together or not. I feel like there is this kind of sense of like, I wish I could be better for you. You deserve more. All right. So what's their next move? If any, do they have any plans? Or their intentions towards you. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. This person wants to keep things moving with you. And we have um, the Seven of Cups with the Hermit and the Five of Swords. All right, so. I feel like this person is really afraid of upsetting like this really good thing you have. I feel like they're kind of imagining everything that could go wrong right now. Um, so I feel like they kind of been keeping to themselves and like just savoring like the really good stuff between you two, the good memories between you two, just the good feelings there. Um, I feel like they really are afraid of like saying the wrong thing. Let's see what else we got for an Oracle card. They do not want to upset this balance with you. Okay, here's power, standing in power, gifts, abilities. That's the third time the word gifts has come through. Um, some of them are getting a little frustrated by not by not knowing maybe what to get you as like an actual gift or what to just um, as a more like metaphorical gift. They don't, they're like trying to find some more strength, confidence and power to really um, show you more of themselves, to really tell you more of their feelings. Um, so I just feel like some kind of like disorganization and disorder around any kind of plans at the moment. Maybe this is um, one of this person's like um, shortcomings, downfalls is they're not the most organized person. So they're not really good at like future planning and stuff. So um, it might be like if you know this is a really good connection, it might help for you to kind of lead in that direction. Um, all right. So but it looks like this person wants to have some kind of conversation with you. 
they do want to come forward and talk, but they do have a lot that's going on that they're kind of shy, reserved, feeling weird about. But I feel like they want to they want to overcome this because they really feel like you deserve someone powerful. You deserve someone who can really be there for you. All right, anything else? Are they thinking of the next time with you? We have the hanged man. Yeah, I do feel like they're daydreaming a lot about the next time with you. They might not be taking a lot of action since we saw here that they're, I feel like they're kind of blocked from making some plans. They feel kind of scattered or something. And we have the queen of pentacles, but I feel like they're doing a lot of daydreaming about you. Um, maybe hoping that you'll reach out to them because they might not want to like disturb you. All right, so we'll get you guys some advice, either just in general for you or... Um, in this connection, whatever wants to come through, then we'll get some message cards. All right. Um, we have the five of swords coming up that already came up right here. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. All right. So for many of you, it looked like this was like a really good connection, a good thing you guys got going on. But if this is a newer thing, um, do be careful and be sure to really understand this person well before you um, move too fast with them. Because I do feel like this is someone who maybe could let their emotions just really, they just roll with them and just go with it and before like thinking things over. So yeah, I feel like there's um, this message coming through of just being, be sure not to move too quickly in this connection. If it's really meant to be, it will work out because it looks like there's a lot of good potential here. But I do feel that if you take your time with it, you're patient with it, I feel um, this person will be willing to wait for you. The right person will wait for you, you know, for a re reasonable amount of time, of course. Um, and here is solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. So maybe this represents you you as well. You guys might have some mental stress. And um, so I feel that if you're afraid of making an unwise choice, either in this situation or something or another situation in your life, it's important for you guys to take a bit of time to yourself um, to find out what's your opinion on something instead of what's everyone else's opinions on something. So I feel like you guys have to get in touch with your true opinion on um, either this person or another situation in your life. And um, one way you can do that is through journaling, praying as well. So there might be something to really pray about. And you can kind of write down answers you get in your journal. And here's, can we just kiss all night? Yeah, I feel like this person is just often just dreaming of you, imagining you. You feel like the sweetest home I've never known. Yeah, that was that 10 of cups coming out. This person feels very at home with you. And I can't bring myself to open up and let you in. Also, this was stuck to it. Everything I do reminds me of you. So I feel like, yeah, this person has definitely not forgotten you. They think of you quite often. So I feel that this person um, might just show you how happy they are, but there's also so much that they find hard to talk about. Don't think I don't care about you because I really do. And what I would give to run my fingers through your hair. And... I cannot handle any more heartbreak. So I feel like there is some kind of confusion in this person, some kind of um, fear of just doing the wrong thing and sabotaging the relationships somehow. And here's, I will do anything to bring you happiness. So I do feel like this person is maybe trying to bounce back from a difficult past. Um, and they they do want to go forward. We like we do have this uh, renewal card here. So this this is like new growth for this person. So I feel it's very important not for both of you guys not to get way too far ahead of yourselves and. Just